But about six months after the divorce, she just hit a wall. She was just screaming all the time, and I became desperate at that point to, to get her some help. My name is Sonia Peterson. I've lived here in Pagosa Springs for about 16, 17 years. I discovered Aspire. I was thinking, oh, this is a great place where the youth here in, in our little town can go if they had something like an unplanned pregnancy or needed some help with parenting. But then, several years later, I had a pregnancy of my own with a nine-year gap between um, my children and realized I might be able to take part in this service. The nearest hospital where I would go was an hour away. And so we discovered Aspire, like maybe they could help me out here. And um, I had heard they gave free ultrasounds and um, did a lot of the first uh, big chunk of the, the prenatal care. It was a very comfortable place for me to, to be able to have this pregnancy later in my life. I was um, 24 when I had my first child and 38 when I had my last. So um, Aspire, when I just thought of it as for young kids who um, maybe didn't have a planned pregnancy, it turned out to be such a useful place for me. At Aspire, we really kind of hit a gap within this community. There's a lot of things available after three years of age, uh, but there's not a lot we noticed from zero to three, and so that's where we come in. Um, we offer the affordable prenatal care, free pregnancy tests. We even do free STI testing. We also have affordable lab work so that patients can get the majority of their prenatal care here. And then we have the educational program to help guide them through pregnancy and postpartum and really just navigate sometimes the uncharted waters of parenthood. <laughs> and then later, you know, and I had her and um, something that wasn't planned was, was a divorce and she was about two and a half, three when that happened and she was a complete disaster. <laughs> She was just screaming all the time, and, and so I reached out to, to get some parenting help. I had already parented three children, so you'd think I could do this, but I, I needed some extra help. Um, I called Aspire, I remember, and Tony answered, and she was extremely helpful. She was very nurturing to me in a way, like, you got this, you know, you just have to try some different things than what you did because you're going through a divorce, and. Um, potty training was a mess because it was a control issue. I said, I need classes. Um, she's gone through something that none of my kids have gone through before, which is a divorce, and um, I, I need some help. I, I, I've tried everything I've tried with them, and it hasn't worked. And so I enrolled in a parenting class. They actually even worked with my schedule. They did it at nights, it was Tuesday nights. It was a, a night that I could work with. And it was great, but there, I did hit a point where I thought, Tony was her name. I said, my plate is full. I'm not sure I can continue this class. Um, but I love it. Thank you. And she said, you need to just try this one. This next class, I think, would be really good for you. Um, I remember it was about where the person I was and the person my daughter was. And I had to rate where we were along this line with different things. And I found that so helpful because it made me realize not all children are going to be like you. So many times um, we're not just providing tools, but we really become some of the client's family. I mean, some of them don't have a lot of family. We can be a non-judgmental place that can be here. And we don't just look at our clients as, okay, their clients or their patients, is that we just really do look at them. How can we help them as people and as friends? So I got some help from them and got her back on track, got her calmed down, um, got her able to, to kind of work with everything and to help her know that we are a happy family. You know, we're, families look different. Happy families look different. So we're doing better now. We're all finding our zone, <laughs> getting back in harmony, I guess, with ourselves. And, um, and it's just really nice to have, have this place as a, a place to send people now when I see that they're in distress, really. The support that Aspire can offer this community is monumental. So we just, um, we cannot exist without our donor support. Um, we don't get very much funding at all from any other resources. 
um, and it's our individual donors that have made all the difference um, to our organization. So that allows us to provide affordable prenatal care. And without that strong donor base and that continual funding that comes through to us, we, we cease to exist. So it is really, um, we just ask for you to partner with us in, in helping these kids.